Hey, what is up guys, it's Prodigy, and I am here with my first vlog. Um, I just figured that I would do this, um, just, I guess, to connect with you guys a bit more, because now that I'm able to show my face, I feel like I'm not completely shut off from you guys. Um, and, uh, first, I would start, I guess, by saying, um, if you don't know, a few weeks ago I got my braces off, so... If I sound really weird, that could be because I have a retainer in right now. It's really difficult to talk with and stuff. And if you're wondering what this thing here is, that is my microphone. I know it is very puny, and it was like 15 bucks. I'm surprised it hasn't exploded or caught on fire or zapped me or something or birthed aliens of robot origin. Or something but I mean you know what can, what can you really expect for 15 bucks um, so like I said I, I guess I'm just doing this to co to not feel completely shut off from you guys because honestly I do want to connect with you guys but I can't really go anywhere to do that like I can't really go to any gaming conventions or YouTube conventions and even if I were to I doubt I'd be recognized that's fine. Um, and I feel like I still can't tell you guys my name or really too much about me, but I can tell you like the less personal stuff, I guess, which is which is good. And um, I I think what I might do is like just for the sake of connecting with you guys, I might like give like a few questions or something, maybe in the comments section, or maybe I'll just say them in the video. I'm not really sure about, like, just for you guys to answer. I won't, like, give any questions that I can't answer. Um, um, like, maybe I'll ask you about your hobbies or something, because I might talk about that right now. And just what I guess I like to do. So first off, I guess I like, which is probably kind of obvious, considering I have, like, 170-something videos on this channel right now, I like to play video games. Just putting it out there. I'm a gamer. I'm not sure whether I'm like a casual gamer, competitive gamer. I'm not sure if I take gaming too seriously, but I'm a gamer. In case you couldn't tell by the 170 videos of gaming, and that's not like even all the video games I play. On the channel I play mainly, I have probably mostly Minecraft videos, but I haven't done Minecraft in a while. And I also have a lot of balloons, and I do play balloons off screen, obviously, because balloons is fun, and I can't like be relied on to walk upstairs get a mic, start the video every time I want to play balloons, because that's just not going to happen, and I'll have way too many balloons videos if we're going to be honest here. And also, let's see, what else? I'm not a huge reader, unless you can give me a really awesome sci-fi book. Occasionally fantasy, but mostly sci-fi nowadays. And I would consider myself a sci-fi nerd. Um, I'm trying to get into anime. I'm trying to get into anime as well. I want to be like a sci-fi anime video game nerd. That's a thing. I just want to be a, an overall well-rounded nerd, you know? So, like, I, I got the video game thing down pat, but I need to be, like, I need, like, I'm still kind of working on the anime thing, and I and I don't think I know enough about Star Trek in order to be a complete sci-fi nerd, and I don't think I've watched Star Wars enough times to be considered a sci-fi nerd. I used to watch Star Wars, but I think I've seen all of them, but I don't, I haven't seen, like, I haven't seen them all, like, 12 times. So, I, m I might need to watch those over again, you know? Like, a another 11 times or so. As for Star Trek, I think I should probably watch the entire, like, every of the Star Trek things. Because I honestly have no idea, like, before the more recent... Ooh, crap, I hope you got I hope that didn't just, like, blast you guys' ears out. This thing's kind of in my way here, but... I Besides the newer Star Trek movies, I haven't, like seen the old classic Star Trek that all of the older nerds are into and stuff. So, like, I don't know, like, all the races or anything, but I intend to because aliens are awesome. Remember that. Aliens are awesome. Especially when you're a sci-fi nerd and stuff. And I also, uh, as for anime, I really, I, I, I'm just not sure. I've I've seen like the classics 
like in America these are the classics and if you live in other countries I'm not really sure but Dragon Ball Z ha, that's like that's like a basic one though like I'm sure a lot of people who are not necessarily anime nerds have seen Dragon Ball Z and I've seen Pokemon but that's like like you don't need to be even a nerd at all to like Pokemon like everyone I know has seen a Pokemon episode however I did recently watch Attack on Titan, which not everyone knows, but knows about, which is, but it's like, it's pretty epic. It's, I'm not sure whether it's necessarily well developed. I can say it's better, well, better story-wise than Dragon Ball. Definitely better story-wise, and definitely better in terms of character development than Dragon Ball. But it's got the action scenes as well, which... It's honestly kind of a must. I can't just, like, watch an anime that's just, like, drama. I need something with, like, punching someone in someone's face or otherwise. Because action is awesome. And that's honestly the only reason I watch Dragon Ball. Because it's like, it's like, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT, including the movies, are, like, entirely just fight scenes. I mean, actually, the earlier Dragon Ball movies aren't, but the newer ones are, like, they're just fight scenes, and I love them. It's just, like, they're the kind of shows you would watch if you just had a really bad day, and you want to see someone punch someone else in the face. Or if you want to say, or if you want to see some, give someone a freaking Kamehameha wave right in the face. That's also a cool thing. But... In terms of video games, I would consider myself pretty well-rounded. I play Minecraft. I also play... I, and Well, there are, like, certain kinds of gamers as well. Like, like I said, I'm probably more the casual type. Probably maybe a bit ser too serious, but I'm also the casual type. I like, I like to play with my friends. Like, just sitting around TV, playing video games, man. Just, like, kicking each other in the face with bullets. That makes sense. It probably doesn't, but don't worry about it because I said it anyway. What you gonna do? Um, so I used to play Minecraft a lot, and I still um, I don't really play it off screen as much anymore because I think Blooms may have taken me away a bit from Minecraft. Just because, despite the creativity involved in Minecraft, in order to do something really extraordinary. You need to have some sort of coding. Once again, I touched the mic. Hope that didn't blow you guys' ears out. You need to have some kind of coding prowess in order to do something really ridiculous, or a long attention span, which I really don't have, to be honest. I, I can't focus on something for more than 45 minutes. And although that sounds like a long time, it's like, what can you, what, what spectacular thing can you build in 45 minutes? I don't really know. So, for Minecraft, it's a good game. It's actually a really good game. But I've... And it's probably the game I've played longest out of anything, I'd probably say. But... I don't know. It's fun, I'll say that. But it's only fun when you're playing with friends now. Like, if you're playing with friends, and even like on solo with mods, it's not as fun. And I honestly, I think I'd probably prefer Bloons over that, unless I'm playing with friends. Um, just, yeah, so I should thought I should get that out there. Um, and in terms of Bloons, like I said, it's an awesome game. But I think, and so I've, I've played like Tower Defense, I've played like Sandbox games, which are generally pretty cool, and I think Minecraft is the best of them. Um, have also, however, I'm also a big per first-person shooter dude, which, um, is that what I'm best at? It's like between first-person shooter and builder. I'm a pretty good builder in Minecraft, I will say that much. I'm a pretty good builder, but I think I've probably, I probably have more Minecraft experience, but however, I also have played a ton of Halo. Like, I have played that game into the ground and then I dug it up, and then I played it into the ground just over and over again. And honestly, it still hasn't gotten old. I'm not necessarily a Halo dude. I'm not. I'm not necessarily a Halo nerd. I'm not saying like, because I know it's like it's always like Halo versus Call of Duty, and Halo has a way larger fan base, I think. But I I play Call of Duty as well, and honestly, um, they're both pretty good games. But I, mean, I might even make a vlog on like which one is better, in my opinion, 
and I'm not quite sure. I would need to like go through the statistics step by step in order to really give a good give you guys a good image of my view on both games because both games do like really well in their own respects. But um yeah. So that's pretty cool and all. Um, but yeah, I think I've, I think I've played Halo, how many years, when did Halo come out, 2000, did Halo Reach come out in 2010, I think so, so five years, wow, I didn't realize it was that long, five years of playing Halo, yeah, five years of playing Halo, that is ridiculous. It's really insane, I think. Five years, right? I, yeah, I think it might be five years. That is insane. Like, holy crap, five years. It's insane. Um, I only just started playing Call of Duty, like, six months, a little, like, maybe eight months ago. But I like it. Like, I, I like the multiplayer. I think the multiplayer is generally better than Halo's. I started playing Minecraft four years ago. And I started playing Bloons about a year ago. But I think I've played it more frequently than any other game. Um, I also played... I guess I maybe maybe I'll talk about when I first got into gaming. That's probably a thing because I think I got into gaming a lot later than most people these days. Like I know people who have gotten who like got their first like whatever Game Boy or Nintendo DS like when they were like three or four years old. I got mine like when I was seven, which is I'm not gonna say how many years ago that was because then you'll know how old I am, but. It was a long time ago, but it, like I got mine at seven years old when most of my friends got it like three or four years old, something around there. And they're just like, what? You just got it then? And I'm just like, yeah, but I play way more video games than you right now, don't I? And that's generally the truth, honestly. I think I probably play way more video games than most of my friends, being honest about that. <laughs> but, um... The first video game I ever played was Pokemon Diamond, I believe. And I also played a bit of Mario, but Pokemon Diamond, I think, was, like, the the, the game I was really into. And I also began to play the other Pokemon games and stuff, but then I eventually got bored after about a year or two. And there wasn't much to talk about in terms of Pokemon at school, because I don't know why. I guess I was just late to the party. People were, like, playing... Pokemon's like red and ruby red and leaf green or whatever. But, oh my god, I just I just screwed that up Har hardcore. Sorry, fire red and leaf green. You do not get to hate on me because I said ruby red, all right? Pokemon ruby is a thing. It's fire red, leaf green, and the blue one. Don't get to hate on me for that either, all right? Just because I don't know all the names of all the Pokemon titles like all you people out there there. don't know what that was, but don't worry about it, because I do know what that was. I just contradicted myself again. Gosh darn it, these vlogs are awkward. <laughs> but, um, alright, so I kind of, I kind of took a risk here with this, with this vlog. I'm hoping it goes, hoping it goes over well. But I guess I will ask you guys now, um, to post in the comments, what do you like to do as hobbies? What do you do in terms of hobbies? And what was the first video game you've ever played? Boom. Right there. Okay. I'm glad I, I came up with those questions on the top of my head. I'm really proud of myself. Yeah. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to like or subscribe. Also post in the comments section the answer the questions that I just asked you and what you want from the channel, and I will see you all later.